Let's get blasted. If you're not as strong as the Hulk or as fast as the Flash, but you're still looking to take down the baddest of the bad guys, you may need to supplement your natural abilities with some firepower. For heroes like the Punisher and Vigilante, normal ordnance gets the job done. But if you're like me, you're looking for something a bit more advanced. I'm Rusty Ward, and this is Science Friction, the show where fantasy meets reality, and I break down the real science behind comic book and sci-fi superpowers and explain how an ordinary individual like you can become superhuman. Star Trek Into Darkness is premiering this weekend, and we're sure to see some phasers wreak havoc on both starships and people. So I decided that in this episode, we'll look at laser weapons. Directed energy weapons have been a staple of science fiction for over 100 years first appearing in H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. The first real laser was invented in 1960 and scientists have been improving upon it since. So what is a laser? Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. A laser is simply light, light of a particular wavelength that is synchronized and focused in a single direction. To produce a laser, energy is used to excite the atoms of a gas, liquid, or solid. When the electrons of the atoms settle, they release photons. These photons ricochet off of mirrors and are directed into a laser beam. We use lasers to perform surgery in medical settings, cut through metal in industrial settings, and recently use them to transfer information. But how are lasers used offensively? Last month, the US Navy announced that they'll be deploying the first ship equipped with a solid state laser that has successfully struck down drones in midair. The laser weapon system, or LAWS, would also be capable of destroying incoming missiles. This is very cool, but there's another type of offensive laser that can fit in your hands. They're called Dazzlers. Yes, the same name as the light-emitting, disco-rocking X-Man. Dazzlers are used to blind a target. Permanently blinding combatants is a war crime. That's why the U.S. Air Force has created a Dazzler that causes only temporary blindness. It's appropriately called the Phaser, standing for Personnel Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle. It's meant to be a non-lethal way to temporarily disorient a target without causing permanent damage. This could prove very useful for a hero who's looking to take down a bunch of supervillains without being charged with multiple counts of murder. But what about stronger personal lasers that don't just dazzle, but actually cut or burn targets? Why aren't our soldiers running around with ray guns? The G.I. Joes in the 80s cartoon all had them, and they were total idiots. Why not us? Well, lasers aren't very energy efficient. It takes a tremendous amount of energy to produce a laser blast. Most of that energy is lost in the form of heat, which means lasers get very hot. So a laser needs two devices, one that supplies it with a large amount of energy and another device that cools it. That means a really powerful laser is not something small enough to fit in your hand. For now, a bullet is a lot more effective and efficient way to inflict damage, but there are things that lasers can do that bullets can't. Obviously, lasers travel at the speed of light. They can also be precisely targeted and can have their intensity increased or decreased for lethal and non-lethal outcomes. For those reasons, scientists will continue to improve upon the laser and eventually we'll have our blaster. There's no reason you can't beat them to it. If you're a physicist, get back to the lab. If you're in the Air Force, get your hands on a phaser. And if you're a brooding billionaire who made an oath to a deceased family member, get your experimental weapons division working overtime on the next advancement in laser technology. Check out the playlist I've created to see the state-of-the-art lasers in action, as well as laser guns built by DIY hobbyists. I've gotten some great suggestions in the comments about the different superpowers people want. Keep them coming. I want to know what powers you want. 